Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Dunny B TV. I am your host. We got a very special program tonight. We got our girl Sky Life. We're going to be interviewing her tonight, talking to her exclusively about everything. We're going to be breaking it down. But the first thing we're going to do before we do anything, I want you guys to check out the interview she did with TMZ. And we'll be right back right after this. To pay her medical bills. And yes, he owes me everything because he took everything away from me. Yes, he owes me everything that he has. He owes all of us. He needs to be totally financially bankrupt and and burdened like he's done so many other people. Yes, I think he absolutely needs to pay her medical bills, her pain and suffering, her mental anguish, her emotional anguish. This has been very stressful and traumatic to all of us. Every time we see his face pop up on a screen, a newspaper article, a blog, your phone, I mean, it, it's flashbacks to back to those moments, and he's been glorified. My nightmares come from Takashi. My my situation that I'm in, it all stems from that day on April the 3rd, leaving 50 Cent Studio in Manhattan Times Square in broad daylight, you know, having guns put to my abdomen and my head. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Johnny B TV. It is going down right here. We are live. Oh my goodness, y'all! If y'all have, if y'all have not heard the news, our girl Sky Life has been out on TV everywhere, TMZ and everything, and we got her live with us right now. How you doing on this beautiful uh, Wednesday, Thursday night? I'm blessed. I can't complain, Donnie B, at all. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's always. Oh, well, you know, it's always a pleasure to have you. You are you are trending now. Everybody's talking about you. Let's talk about what's going on. Uh, I've seen that TMZ report that you got going on. Let's talk about that. Well, you know, I, I really don't want to go too far into the details to have to recapture the actual moment in time when it happened. In a nutshell, I was uh, robbed. Uh, brutally robbed at gunpoint by five men in New York City in broad daylight while I was exiting um, 50 Cent to studio last April. And I was robbed by um, the worldwide celebrity famous rapper Takashi 69 that was just sentenced yesterday uh, for the robbery to two years. What? Wow. And, and so, I, I mean, so many people got so many persons. Do, do you feel that you was uh, at the wrong place at the wrong time? Say it one more time. Do, do you feel that you was at the wrong place at the wrong time? You know, I was where I was supposed to be in, you know, God, I, I have full faith in God, you know, because at the end of the day, I survived. You know, right. I was I, I was survived and able to tell the tell tell the story and tell the the uh, tell the police what happened and take down a vicious gang and gang mm -hmm. member. You know, so right. whatever happened is of God. You know, God can just you know, David's not fair, but nor is the storm. You know, right, I, right. I'm still going through some things. I went through some things, but I am a survivor. I'm not a victim. I'm a survivor. Let's talk about this too, because I got a chance to read the whole article about you. He, uh, what all did he take? And also, you mentioned uh, on TMZ that they was looking for a certain, they was looking for a certain person, and and they called out rep a lot. Let's talk about that. Yeah, they they um, were looking for um, Jay Prince of Rap a Lot Records. Uh, due to my, you know, Texas, you know, residency and Texas ties and Texas affiliation, because I am a native of Texas, uh -huh. born in Dallas, but raised in Houston. Uh, Ralph Eli has been some of my big time contributors to my charity events. I have a wonderful, impeccable relationship with Ralph Eli Records. Therefore, they singled me out and targeted me in order to, you know, send a message or they thought that those guys were, were there with me. Wow. Wow. That, that is crazy. So uh, what I want you to do, uh, I want you to take us back. I know you don't want, I know you don't want to, but take us back to that particular night. How scared was you? You know, it, it, the, you know, words can't really describe the amount of fear that, you know, I still uh, have nightmares from this every day. I still have flashbacks of it all day. Um, 
I mean, just imagine dying alone. Mm -hmm. No one wants to die alone. Imagine dying without being able to say bye. Imagine being millions of miles away from home, and that's where your life ends at. You know, I feel like how Tupac felt when he got shot in the studios in Quad mm -hmm. City in New York, you know, and I was totally ambushed and caught off guard. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was very, very, it was very frightening. It still is very frightening. You know, I had to relocate and move to L.A. for a while in order to go into hiding. I had to change my total identity. I lost my career as a publicist to that. Mm -hmm. You know, I still fear going into um, big crowds of people. I still fear going into studios. I still fear going into uh, the hip-hop community, which I was very comfortable with and grown, you know, to know my whole entire life. I fear even going in, in into those circles anymore. You know, um, it's been a very frightening experience, and it still is a frightening experience. He's scheduled to be released, you know, in less than a year. You know, I don't know where I stand at in with him, you know, because I did write a victim impact statement. You know, um, my support system, you know, at that point in time, it was very small because I didn't release uh, when it happened. I just became public. Uh, here, let you know, not too long ago, just became public. I didn't, you know, share my emotions. I was basically suffering in silence. Wow. So I just, you know, got to the point where I've been able to open up and let everyone know what happened to me. Uh, do you feel that justice has been served for you? No. Why? Absolutely not. Why? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. His sentencing doesn't give me back everything that I've lost. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it 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 brings me one step close to closure, but I'm totally not, you know, totally to the point where I, I'm healed and I'm happy again and I'm, you know, able to live a productive life as a citizen I was before this horrific moment happened. You also mentioned that she was glad that uh, he's in jail and not going to be able to spend time with his family because where you was at last year. Let's talk about that. Well, I feel like I, I, I feel like he did not deserve mm -hmm. to be, you know, home with his family. I was not able to be home with my family last year. Last year I was suffering from a mental breakdown uh, in a hospital. Mm -hmm. So I, I was away from my family and my loved ones. So, you know, I just prayed before the sentencing, you know, that, you know, uh, God let your will be done. And, it, and, and, and therefore, his will, God's will was done. Mm -hmm. And justice, you know, on that end, you know, it was served to him because he was not able to enjoy it. He didn't deserve to be home with his family for the holiday, mm -hmm. um, you know, living a lavish life. And he totally bankrupt me and drained me from my career, my finances, my emotions, um, you know, my career and so many other things. Uh, he, he didn't deserve to walk out with just a slap on the wrist, which, you know, two years still wasn't enough. But, you know, again, I, I left that up to God and, 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 and justice. And I, you know, I, I feel, you know, that it, it, it's been handled the way it's going to be handled. Are you planning on filing a lawsuit? Um, I'm not able to discuss that at okay. this time. Okay, I can understand that. I respect that. Let's talk about this also. Um, did you get an apology from 50 Cent Studio? Because you said you was in 50 Cent Studio when this happened. I'm not able to really discuss that at this time either. Okay, okay. Wow. Well, uh, what else would you like to say to the people, to your fans out there? I just would like for people to um, not support people of this kind. Um, celebrity bashing and shaming is real. Mm -hmm. It's not right for someone to victimize someone because their name is bigger mm -hmm. than theirs. Just because you have a name and I don't have a name does not give you the right to take advantage of me or mm -hmm. anyone. And that goes for the same. And people just like, let it go. No. And so you're telling them that's like telling the little boys that accuse Michael Jackson to just let it go because it's Michael Jackson or the women that Harvey Weinstein, R. Kelly, Bill Cosby took advantage of, and mm -hmm. so many other celebrities have taken advantage of, you know, individuals because of their name titles. Right. Celebrity shaming needs to stop. Right. And we should not support celebrity shaming. I gotta ask you this: How's the family doing? And uh, how's the family taking it? 
Um, they're very overprotective of me right now. They don't want to keep me up out of their sight. So, mm -hmm. and I'm really enjoying, you know, just because, you know, I was in hiding, you know, for over a year away from them, you know, mm -hmm. and so for me to be home and, you know, and able to be in the comfort and surrounded by them, I'm really enjoying the time with my family right now. Right. So I've got to ask you this also, because you have, uh, ever since... TMZ broke the story on yesterday. Uh, you've been getting uh, all kinds of interviews. You, so this has been a, a really, really busy day for you, right? Well, I have, but actually, you know, it's not about, you know, fame. It's not about fame. It's about healing. Right. So I have actually declined more interviews than I've accepted. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I accepted your interview, Donnie, because me and you have always gone way back, and you've always been a great fan and a great supporter of, oh, yeah. of my brand and of my movement. So, you know, I, I, I have actually declined more than I've accepted because it's not, uh, it's in my story's out. The story's out, the cat's out the bag, and you know, it's now it's time for me to heal and find closure in order to move on. You know, it's not about trying to get, you know, famous or anything off of that situation. Right. I, I, def I definitely respect that. I got it. It's definitely about getting closure in order to be a voice for me and the victims, you know, who are still in hiding from mm -hmm. being terrorized from this, 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 this terrorist. I've got to ask you this. Um, and, and I don't know if you can answer this or not. Are we looking at a book deal in the future? One more time. I said, are we looking at any kind of book deal? Have you been offered a book deal? Are we looking at any kind of book deal in the future? Well, prior to this uh, incident happening, I was already in the process of writing my book. And some of the things that he stole from me when he um, robbed me, my my book memoirs were in, in there. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. um, I've had to start over from scratch from my book, but you know, God is good. I feel like he will, you know, give me my memory back as time progresses. that I will be able to have a clear mind where I'll be able to move forward. Yes, I am most definitely still going to go through with my plans. I way before this happened was to write a book about my journey as being an international publicist. Are you going to let him take those things from me? I will be a survivor. I will not be a victim. Right. And I, uh, um, are you going to add this to your story? Absolutely. Wow. For those who just not talking to us or uh, uh, tuning into us right here on Dunby TV, we got Skylife, our girl Skylife, who needs no introduction, man, because she's been all across the country. And she's represent as a publicist, as a comedian. I want to talk about this too bad because I want people to know that you're not just a publicist, you're a comedian. Let's talk about that. Yes. Um, after. Um, after the incident, um, I, you know, I no longer have the desire to work in, you know, entertainment in the hip hop sector, which, you know, really was 8% of my business. Um, so I, you know, I wanted to try to turn my pain into laughter. So mm -hmm. I um, started my comedy career. How is, how is that going for you? <laughs> how, how is that going for you? Oh, it's, it's still going. I'm on hiatus from Hollywood right now. You know, okay. I um I do plan on going back after the holi after the holidays. Oh, really? That's what I, that's what I'm talking about. Let's talk about this, also this because you had a lot of uh, things happen to you in your life. Uh, you lost your husband uh, not too long ago. Tell us a little bit Six about that. Six months after this happened. Six months after this happened. How is that? Mm -hmm. I mean, how is that going for you and your family now? I mean, we're still healing, of course. Uh, I mean, I, 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 he just had his one year anniversary to that. And, you know, we're still healing. We're still putting the pieces of our life back together. Wow. But I tell you what, we definitely going to keep you in prayer. And thank you so much for taking out this time to uh, talk with us here at Donna B TV. Thank you, Donnie. Always with love. And, you know, my line is I will always and forever be open to you. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Happy belated birthday. Well, it's Monday. You oh. came up. It's, it's not the Monday. Okay, good, good. We celebrating right here, right here on TV. Happy birthday Thank to you. Guys you. So, much. so what are you gonna do for your birthday? I'm not gonna do nothing. You gonna? <laughs> you just gonna? <laughs> wait a minute. That's not like. That's not like you. 
Oh, uh, no, no, it, 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 now it's not the time. I just want to spend time with my family. That's all I want to be is with my with my children and my grandchildren and my parents. That's all I want. All right. I got one more thing to ask you. You know, we got to get into this because I know you're into politics sometimes, too. What do you think about the impeachment for uh for, for the president? Well, I mean, the only good thing about that is you won't be able to run again. Um, but, you know, me, you know, knowing it, how, you know, how all that works is he was impeached, but he has not been removed. So it's a, it's a, a bittersweet victory mm -hmm. because he still has to go to the Senate in order to go to the, go to the trial of the Senate. And the Senate is, we know, uh, dominated by the Republicans. So, I mean, there's a very slight chance that he'll be removed because I very doubt, very seriously doubt if they're going to go against their party in order to, um, uh, make their party wish in order to give him a conviction whether he did right or wrong. It's just the way that the system is set up. So, you know, um, I I would say, this is what I would say about that mainly is we wouldn't even be in this position of having to impeach the president if people would have voted. Exactly. I definitely agree with you on that. It's always a pleasure having you on the program with us here at, at Donny B TV. And good luck with everything. And hopefully you'll come back on to wish us a happy new year. Absolutely. Okay. Thank right. you so much, Donnie. Pleasure for having you. And I love you as always. And happy holidays to you and yours and all your listeners. And we love you too. God bless. All right. That's our girl right there, right here. I'm doing it real big on Donnie B TV again. Uh, uh, that is, uh, that is our girl right there, Sky Life. Again, there's a lot going on. We need to continue to keep her in prayer. And speaking of prayer, we want to talk about this too, because there's a lot going on. We can talk about, uh, again, the Trump administration is uh, planning on cutting uh, 700,000 some of people off of food stamps. And also, we can talk about that, and there's a lot more coming up. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You tune in to us right here on Donnie B TV. Everybody, we want to thank everybody for tuning in to us right here on Donnie B TV. We want to definitely thank a uh, big shout out to our girl Skyline for tuning in to us and calling in to the show. And remember, if it is to be, it's up to you to make a difference. We'll see you next time right here on Donnie B TV. Good afternoon, sunny SoCal. This is J.O. coming to you. Take over your station and give you some gents that the execs just won't give any play. play. So, uh, check, check them out. out. Okay. Tia! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I guess I'm just a misfit, huh? Yeah. Come in right now? Huh? No? You're coming right now? Huh? Yeah. 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 Hey, listen. Real skinny. Loud colored tennis. Body marked up like graffiti. I don't push a Maserati Beamer biz a bit. And yeah, I wrote a foreign. And this sound like a spiffy. Hey, go ahead and doubt us. I don't what you know about us. And we ain't gotta follow, then we take another route. No, we ain't blowing trees, bro. Open up my window. I see you popping tags, but you know that's why your in 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 slow. I try to tell them we was coming down and let us in. Why they hating like we all a bunch of hooligans? No gimmicks. Spirit in my lyrics. No when people hear it, they gon' love her, they gon' fear it. And it ain't how we flow, cause when we show up at our show, they say we go at so hard in the paint, they can't wait for some more. But some others say we preach it, some closed minded geeches. Like we ain't heard of Marks like a Nietzsche. Believe me. Hey, they don't know about us, they don't, they don't talk about us. Hey, they don't know about us, they, they, they don't know about us. Hey, they don't know about us, they don't, they don't, they think we dumb, dumb, diddy, dumb, dumb. But they gon' know, they gon' know about us. They gon' know about us. Hey, they gon' know about us, they, they, they gon' know about us. Oh, they gon' know about us, they, they, they gon' know about us. Oh, they gon' know about us, they gon' know about us. Six, two, two, plus, gon' add it up. Hey, that's a big problem. Mad, don't subtract, but content like I had enough Long hair, don't care, some more and plus I'm padded up I know this blow your mind, and I ain't blowing pine Not talking women, looking skimpy every other line Yeah, I got a dime, I'm about to make a mind Life in Christ got me finished like across the line With, with, with the way that you telling me to do it Sell out to sell out, nah man, it's so foolish Done, done, trying to beat you, it don't fit, misfit I don't trip, everybody hate Chris they saying get with this, just like a membership They talking slick that like this is it, but it's just gibberish I say I'm interested, they say you're different Oh, you gon' know, even if you don't let us in Hey, they don't know about us, they don't, they don't talk about us Hey, they don't know about us, they, they, they don't know about us Hey, they don't know about us, they don't, they don't They think we dumb, dumb, diddy, dumb, dumb But they gon' know, they gon' know about us They gon' know about us, hey, they gon' know about us
about us, they, they, they gon' know about us. Oh, they gon' know about us, they, they, they gon' know about us. Oh, they gon' know about us, they gon' know about us. They say we, they say we, they say we, so we finna go. They say we, they say we, they say we. Dumb on them, dumb on them like I could be Dumb on them, dumb, dumb on them like you should be Dumb on them, dumb on them like I would be Dumb on them, dumb, dumb, dumb on them, yeah, that's cool with me hey, They don't know about us, they don't, they don't know about us hey, They don't know about us, they, they, they don't know about us hey, They don't know about us, they don't, they don't They think we dumb, dumb, diddy, dumb, dumb But they gon' know, they gon' know about us They gon' know about us, hey, they gon' know about us They, they, they gon' know about us Oh, they gon' know about us, they, they, they gon' know about us Oh, they gon' know about us They gon' know about us But, but that's that's always a good thing, man. I I, I want I want people to know, man. You one of the hardest working promoters, one of the hardest working car salesmen, and one of the hardest working person that do everything in this community, man. And speaking of that, you guys are working on one of the biggest Martin Luther King parade in Fort Worth, Texas, in the Stop Six area. Let's talk about it, man. Yes, sir. So on January eighteenth, um. It's the parade. We will be the parade line up will be at forty three hundred Ramey Avenue at uh, East Over Park. It would actually go up Ramey and it would take a left on uh, Miller all the way down to Will Barter, make another left and we'll have a big celebration at Will Barter Park on January eighteenth. It's a free community event. Okay. We ask for everybody to register. It's a free entry. Um so it, we want the community to get involved, let your families know, let them uh, get out there and, and, and look at the parade. And uh, we're asking everybody that's participating to let their people know that that they need to be on the west side of the parade so when they throw candy to the kids, they can be able to get it. Man, uh, let's talk about this, man, because this is the first time they have done this parade almost in, what, 30 to 40, 50 years? Let's talk about that. Right. Right. So what what so, uh, what brought the community to, what brought the the, the stop six community together to go ahead on and bring this parade back to the back to the hood? Well, the reason why we brought bring it back to the hood because we want to see something different in our community. We want to bring back what we used to have in our community mm -hmm. uh, with the help of the brotherhood, uh, the help of myself, the DFW Riders, but, uh, you know, a couple of other organizations. Um, we just come together as a community and put our brains together and say, hey, we can do it, let's do it, and uh, let's make it happen. Let's bring, let's bring this back to our community, and uh, let's start bringing more stuff to our community to make a right. difference. And you know, and, start with us and, make and, a difference in the community. And you know what, man? You make a great point when you say that. I think people need to understand how important that is for us to uh, bring it back into the community, man. Now, that's not going to stop the big one that's coming up in downtown on Monday, right? That, that follows no, Monday. No, no, no. Okay. No. I mean, like I said, we're not stopping nobody from supporting that parade mm -hmm. on Monday. But the one I commend will be on January 18th. And it so, just, like I said, we ask everybody to participate, bring your horses, okay. dance okay. clubs. If they would like to register, y'all can, can contact me, 817-231-2214. Uh, My name is Chris Sparks. You can contact me if you would like to register, and we'll get you registered over the phone. I don't even have to meet you to register. We can, I can get you registered on, you know, over the phone. Okay, now you guys, not only that, but uh, let's talk about this, man, because... We want people to know it's just not going to be a parade. You guys are going to have live entertainment. Let's talk about yes. that. We have live bands, uh, poetry. Uh, you know, you're going to have two uh dance offs and stuff like that. You know, this is just the people that can follow the parade um, that's going to show their talent. You know, everybody have an opportunity to get up there and show what they, you know, what they got. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we talk about this, man, because, again, 
this uh we haven't had nothing like this in a long time it's been what 30 to 40 50 years since they had the Martin Luther King parade in the neighborhood and the fact that they're bringing it back into the hood it's a big thing is this going to be a yearly yearly event uh, yes it is yeah it is it is it yeah. will be every year who who are who are some of the organized besides you that are that are organizing this event is it i know it's you and a couple more people it's me the brotherhood um um, we got other, other organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you know, Malik is uh, one of the main persons. Uh, but like I said, the most definitely brotherhood is involved. Um, it was brought to my attention. And once it was brought to my attention, I said, hey, let's go with it. Let's see some networking. Let's mm -hmm. make it happen. And, uh, and that's what we did. How is it? How is and, it? And uh, also, okay. also the network with the, uh, the spot to buy that. Oh, man, man, that's what's up, man. Uh, I also want to talk to you about this real quick, man, because you do a lot of stuff in the community, man. You also been helping us with the uh, different protests that's been going on in the city, man. Um, what are your thoughts on, I know this is out the record, man, but what are your thoughts on this impeachment that has happened with, uh, President Trump? Um, I think, I think let's not get too happy about it. Uh, at the, at the, at the same note that, 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 you know, they're all Republicans. I'm not into politics or politicians, but if they all don't vote, then <laughs> it's like I say, it won't happen, so let's, let's not get too happy about that situation. Let's not get happy yet. Let's see if they're going to vote now, and then we can celebrate afterwards. Okay, okay. I definitely I definitely agree with you on that, man. Again, man, my boy Cliff right here, one of the hardest working brothers in the, in the Tarrant County area. Man, before we let you go, man, because tax season is coming, we know we got a lot of people out there getting to get their tax together. And so, uh, tell us a little bit about the cars, man, because you, you sell some nice ride. And I get people come up to me all the time and ask me, man, do you know if I can get me an affordable car? Why can you give me a good deal on the car, man? Talk to the people, man. All right, y'all. So, if you're looking to get a car, um, feel free to give me a call, 817 231 6214 or 817 625 Make sure you ask for quick. Um, no credit check, no driver license, no repos, okay? Um, your job is your credit. If you're looking for a car, make sure you give me a call. Um, I have you in there about 45 minutes to an hour. The old sound payment is $1,000 down and up. So, okay. if you're looking for a train car, be more than welcome to help you out and get you into what you're looking for. Say, I've got, I got to ask you this, man. What kind of nice rides you guys got? I know you got SUVs, man, but what kind of, what other oh, rides you have? SUV, SUVs, trucks, uh, mid-sized cars, whatever you're looking for. You know, just let me know what kind of car you're looking for, and I can make sure see what we got. We can get them in there, get them in and out. What is the biggest? What is the biggest hot selling cars right now, man? That 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 you got here. Dodge Chargers, Challengers, 